Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to create login and logout page in Django in a step-by-step -step process. This can be done easily with the help of the built-in user authentication system in Django. And if you are new to Django, kindly watch my previous video that is how to create Hello World app using Django so that you will know the preliminary steps of creating a Django project. So this is the folder in which I have this virtual environment set up. I'm going to make use of the same virtual environment for this project. Activate VNB by giving the command VNB slash scripts slash activate. So virtual environment is activated. We have already installed Python and Django in this virtual environment. Now we need to create a new Django project called login project. I will use the command Django hyphen admin start project and the name of the project is login underscore project okay so login project has been created this folder contains login project and manage.py so next step is we are going to create a new SQLite database with the migrate command go to that login project folder so and say the login project give python manage.py migrate so this python manage.py migrate command will execute SQL commands in the database file. Okay, we are creating a new SQLite database which is the default database used in Django. So after executing migrate, all the tables of the installed apps are created in the database file. Okay, so if you see here, the SQLite database is created. Then you can just start the server by giving python manage.py run server so you can start the development server at this address uh, right now we have just installed django in this virtual environment now press ctrl c and let's start developing our login page we are going to make use of built-in app called as django auth app this app will be installed whenever a new project is created so you can look for that in the settings.py file the second line django.contrib.auth we are going to make use of this app in our project to use this app we need to add it to the urls file so we open this urls.py file and then write include in this second line and then you have to include that auth app url at this url patterns path accounts slash and then include django.contrib.auth.urls okay so this auth app provides us with the several authentication views and urls for handling login logout and password management the urls are provided by auth will be account slash login and account slash logout okay so we need to only create a template to use this account slash login and account slash logout before creating the template create the user let's create a super user that is admin so we have to run the command python manage dot py create super user so username i'm giving my name and email address is empty and password do not appear on the screen when typing Okay, super user created successfully. And you can also change the user's password if required by just giving this command python manage.py change password and you have to specify the username. So the password has been changed successfully. You have to enter the new password twice. Okay, that's fine. Let's create the login page now. By default, Django will look within the templates folder called registration for this auth templates. So the login template name should be login.html file. So we have to create a new directory called templates. Under templates, we should create another directory called registration. Within that, we have to create the login.html file. Login project, create a new directory called templates. Okay, templates folder is created. Under templates, let's create registration. 
Under registration, we should create this login.html file. The name must be login. Open the login.html file. In the login.html file, so this is a standard Django form using post method to send data. We are using these tags CSRF token to prevent the CSRF attack that is cross site request forgery attack. Okay, and then the forms content that will be output between paragraph tags by using this form dot as underscore p and we are creating a submit button so that once you press that login button you will be redirected to some other page okay after this we have to update the settings file to tell django to look for this uh, templates folder at the project level so you have to go to templates in dios you base underscore dir templates okay that's it now the login functionality is ready but we should specify where to redirect the user on a successful login for that purpose we can use login underscore redirect underscore url setting so at the bottom of this settings file itself we can add login underscore redirect underscore url to redirect the user to the home page okay fine now let's start the server again by giving python manage.py run server so let's give slash account slash login so we have got this login page login with this username and password which you have created okay and i press the login button it should redirect to the home page but we got the message that page not found because we are not written any code for our home page so let's create the home page now we are going to design a very simple home page which will display only a single message hi and the username alone okay create two new files now that is base.html file and home.html file under templates make sure that you are creating these two files under templates and not under registration for registration of new users and login only you go for this registration folder otherwise we are going to create the base file and home html file in the templates folder so in templates folder create a new html file base first and also home so what's the purpose of using the base file if you need to have some header and footer which should be commonly used by all the other html files you can make use of this base file so i have placed this content in this base file so in this body tag i have used a header welcome to django tutorial from trinity i have used some styling and also the main contains block content and in blocks and also add a footer with a link to this youtube channel okay if you extend this base.html in any other file this will be inherited in the other files also so instead of repeating the same code again and again using the extents we can inherit this template to the other template now let's move on to the home.html file and just extend this base.html and we have this home page i'm using the method if user is authenticated you're just giving user.username the username will be displayed else you are giving a message that you are not logged in that's it so we can also update login.html file to extend base.html file login.html file I'll just extends base.html and then block title login block content is closed here now we need to update the urls file so that we can display the home page so here if you have noticed we didn't create any dedicated app so for simplicity purpose we'll just add it to the login projects urls file itself so we'll open that urls file and import template view and then we'll add a url pattern for the new path so i'll give this path template view okay and from django.views to generic base importing template view this template view is the simplest among the class based to generic views so it renders the given template what is that class based generic view first view is actually a callable which takes a request and returns a response but this is more than a function and here you can change the attributes on the class based view by using this as underscore view method so the arguments passed inside this method will override the attributes set on the class 
now you have created a home page view the url name of the home page is home okay so now we can change this login redirect url name to home in this settings file so we have given login redirect url as slash instead we can make it as home here now let's start the django server again and navigate to the home page starting the server okay let's refresh this here we got this header and footer header i have given welcome to django tutorial from trinity and footer i have given the link to this youtube channel and here when the user has logged in i have just given the message that hi and the username but we don't have any logout option here so in case if you need to log out you should go to admin the user is cristobal and then you have to log out here okay go to the home page you are not logged in you can log in so we have the option for login so again login but we don't have option for log out now in this home page so we are just going to create this log out option in our home page let's add the log out link to our page this django app already provides with the built in url and view for this so actually we are not going to display anything on log out it is going to redirect the user to the home page so we need not use any template after successful logout we are just going to redirect to the home page let's first add a link to the built in logout url in our home.html file if user is authenticated he or she is logged in we are just giving the message hi and then uh, we can give an option for logout here logout with this built in url logout that's it then we have to update the settings file with our redirect link for logout redirect url add logout redirect okay I'll check the server again now we got this link logout so you have both options you are not logged in you can either log in and after login you can log out this is very simple method of achieving login and log out that's it with this in the upcoming video we will learn how to register new users Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.